welcome to Weekly Recipes. Every Tuesday I'd like to release a video that falls into the keto eating plan and uh, scheduling this time to uh, release on uh, Halloween. So, uh, how to get some uh, goulash, right? Get some goulash for Halloween. You made the same joke the last time you made goulash. Yeah. Well, at least this, I think this one actually lands on uh, Halloween, so that doesn't really count. So, uh, yeah, uh, the traditional goulash, uh, well, traditional American goulash is a lot different from the traditional goulash words from Eastern Europe, I think. But, uh, yeah, anyway, the American goulash has a uh, macaroni in it, which, not keto, but this one looks like it uh, switches out for uh, cabbage. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And here's all what's in it. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, two pounds of ground beef, one yellow onion, four cloves of garlic mixed, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, uh, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, two tablespoons of dried oregano, that seems like a lot, of tables, uh, a lot of oregano, two teaspoons of basil, two bay leaves, it calls for a tablespoon of salt, and that's a lot of salt. I wonder if that's a, uh, a typo, but uh, eh, salt's good for you. A half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper, and uh, the recipe online calls for uh, 10 ounces of shredded cabbage, but um, my store only had the uh, coleslaw mix, but coleslaw mix in this bag is just uh, cabbage and carrots, so... Uh, carrots aren't exactly keto, but uh, this is dirty keto, let's say that. And then a cup of shredded, sh uh, sharp shredded cheese. So let me get everything cut up and measured out. Okay, this is all cut up and measured up. So now I'll put it on to medium heat. And in this Dutch oven, I'll put in the two pounds of ground beef. And I'll let that brown up. Anyway, um, the uh, meat has finished uh, browning, so I'll add the uh, a drain and rinse it, and uh, I'll add the uh, garlic and onions. Get that mixed in. It says to cook the onions until they become translucent, which should should take about uh, eight to ten minutes. It seems like a long time, but I'll keep an eye on it. That's been cooking for a while, so now I'll add in the oregano, basil, salt, pepper, and bay leaves. <laughs> Mostly get it on the spoon there, good lord. Get that mixed in. And now the tomato sauce. I'm not sure if I was supposed to drain the tomatoes or not, but uh, it'll work to wash, wash off the spoon. <laughs> and get that in there. That does smell real good. And then the soy sauce. And it says let that come up to a boil over medium heat and then uh, get that covered. So we'll let that wait that until that comes up to a boil. That didn't take very long. So uh, what I'm going to do now, give it one good stir and then uh, put the lid on. Turn down the heat a bit and set for 20 minutes. And I'll come back and stir that every once in a while during the, the 20 minutes. Right. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes now. So now I'll add in the cabbage and carrots. <laughs> and I'll get that mixed in. It's all mixed up now. And it's, now it says, wait, now let it simmer for five minutes if you uh, want it to uh, be a little crispier. Or uh, for 10 minutes if, it, uh, if, you, if you like the cabbage a bit softer. I'm going to go for 10 minutes because um, I just think that's going to uh, last better in the freezer. So um, it's all about that cook for another 10 minutes. Maybe 15. Just to get it really soft. Okay, that's been cooking for about 15 minutes. Um, the uh, cabbage seems to be a little crispy still, but oh well, I guess that's what cabbage is going to be like. Um, now I'm gonna to try to find the uh, the bay leaves to get that pulled out. Might take a minute. 
I guess it didn't take uh, as long as I thought I was going to get to take green leaves out. I was afraid I was going to find it by chewing on one. <laughs> but anyway, um, now comes the funny part. Uh, they suggest the online recipe suggested I um, let that sit in the refrigerator for overnight before serving it up. But uh, but put most of that up into the freezer. The step after sitting in the refrigerator all night is to put in the cheese or if you're going to um, put the cheese in or if you're going to serve it right away, go ahead and put the cheese in now. I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese in and get that mixed in. You know, I debated on putting in another um, cup of cheese just because, you know, no such thing as too much cheese. But, um, that's it. That's low-carb goulash. Now I'm really thinking about putting in another cup of cheese. Eh, that's a waste. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get let that cool off a bit before getting into the bowls, but uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, Low-carb goulash. Okay, there's the finished product. Uh, recipe Online says it makes six servings, but it looks like five satisfying servings. Probably if I divided it better, it probably could make six servings. Go to find the goulash uh, for Halloween. Please like, favorite, subscribe, uh, share, and check out Patreon link and uh, blog link below, and... Uh, have a nice day. Happy Halloween. And <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs>